know what bothers me. Today I um, want to talk about something that is serious and sensitive. So, you know, it's not, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm taking something that is serious and sensitive you know, like, as a joke, this is something that, you know, I, I wanted to address and I wanted to, like, I guess let you guys know how I feel about it and how I feel like you guys maybe should feel about it or, like, to let you know what's going on about the thing I'm about to talk about. Recently, in major parts of America, like, in major cities and malls, there have been mass shootings. I don't know if you guys watch the news or if you maybe heard it from somewhere, but there have been people going around in major areas and like places that like get packed with a lot of people and they've been taking like machine guns and stuff like that and hurting people and killing people you know like the recent one or at least you know I didn't know about it until I heard about the one in Las Vegas uh but recently it happened twice in my own area it happened at a major mall and it happened you know not that far from me it only happened a maybe 45 minutes away from here and that scares me you know that I could have been there with either my mom or even that somebody I know could have been there like you know it's only so far you know it's close to my cousin's house in New York and it's not that far and it's just like it's upsetting to me that you know, that this happened, and uh, innocent people were hurt and killed, and they didn't deserve it, they had not, they did nothing wrong, but a mad person or people have been going around and killing people and hurting people for no reason. The reason why I wanted to talk about this was not only to let you guys know, I guess to warn you about these situations, like I guess just to protect yourselves when you go to a serious city or mall, but also to express how, I guess, these people who kill for attention, I don't understand. I don't understand how, what could drive a person to just lose their humanity and morality and all those things and just be like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to a mall and kill a bunch of innocent people like what did they do they did nothing to you whether what I really want to get into the I mean I don't want to get into the shooter's head but at the same time I kind of want to know what he or she is thinking at that point of like when they're at that point of no return when they're like right about to pull the trigger and they're like I want to know what their mind space is like I want to know if it's like a revenge thing I want to know if it's straight for attention like a lot of like the thing that's sick is that pe some people who do this do it just for the publicity to just get their name out there to, some of it, it's more of like, oh, I want to strike fear in the hearts of people. But a lot of it is just like, oh, I want to be famous on television. It's like, you realize it's not like a petty thing, right? It's not like a theft or a, you know, it's not like something minor. Because even something minor, it's kind of like, yeah, you might get a little bit of attention. No, you are hurting and killing innocent people. And... Who are you to do that to them? Like, that person that you're hurting had nothing to do with whatever you're going through right now. Most likely. Whatever, like, emotional emotional turmoil you're going through, whatever revenge plot or whatever plan you have, most likely they had nothing to do with it. And they had hopes 
and dreams and aspirations and you know just like you they're no different so I question why you know I question again what would lead a person to do such things like the attention just doing it for attention that has no excuse but some people do it out of revenge or out of some sort of plot I guess maybe to get money or to get fame or just you know some people just get off on killing people it's you know some people just love I guess murder and the thought of murder you know and I don't understand those people like that's an that's a human life you know that's that person's life meant something to somebody out there you know friends family loved ones like again it's just sick you know it's just you know it's a sensitive subject and it's not something to be taken lightly it's something to be cautious about it's something to be like again kind of like how i talked about thanksgiving i know this is a weird thing to bring up but you know it's a kind of like wow that could have been me like i'm thankful that i'm alive and you know or that i wasn't there to witness it or to be there to be injured or possibly killed i mean it's just you know unspeakable it's just you know there are no words to describe how unfortunate it is that those people died and that that comes to any serious shooting or mass murder or anything like that you know and some people some of those sick people who do it for fame or do it for attention like they do the easy way out. They just, they kill a bunch of people and then they kill themselves. So they don't have to, you know, get in trouble or face their consequences of what they did. And that's even worse, that they get away with it, that they did all that damage. And it's like, eh, okay, whatever. It's like, you know, you just kind of brush it under the rug. And that's not okay. Like, Binks is comforting me right now. He's in my lap. Um, but, you know, my heart goes out to those whose families or friends or whoever were injured in these mass shootings, and, you know, I can't imagine what pain it must be to, like, oh, like, say if you're a random patron and cop knocks on your door and it's like, oh, are you Mr. Johnson? It's like, yes. It's like, we, sorry to tell you, your wife was murdered in this specific mall at this specific time due to a mass shooting. Like, I can't, you know, to lose somebody you love or care about like that, that's not how you imagine it, and you don't want that to happen, you know? So, my takeaway from this is be careful out there, okay? Please, everybody, whenever you go out somewhere you know try to protect yourself as much as possible you know try to you know just be safe I guess and you know and for those who for those shooters if you're listening just you know give yourself up you know just try to you know, look, you know, you deserve the punishment that you did because what you did was unforgivable. And, you know, I just, I hope that whoever did it and whatever gets what's coming to them, you know. I'm not trying to be evil or trying to, like, say bad karma, but, you know, for the, when you do something bad, you deserve to be punished. That's all I'm saying. But, uh, that's it. I know this was probably me babbling a lot, but, um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to, you know, express my opinions on that and, you know, tell you guys to be safe. But, uh, 
That wraps up this video. If you have any suggestions, write down in the comments, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Okay, bye!